Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to slash node.in. In this video, I'll show you Drupal 7 installation. I'll tell you how to download the latest stable release using Drush. I'll tell you how to create an empty database that you can use for installation. And I'll show you the step by step installation process. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing that you can do is you can uh, go to your command prompt and you can move to the directory that is your web root. In this case, the directory is d colon slash my files slash website. So for installation, we need to download the latest stable release of Drupal 7. And the command is drush dl drupal hyphen 7.10. I'll press enter here. And now it will start downloading the Drupal 7.1 release from the drupal.org. So it will take some time and I'll fast forward this video to the point where it is downloaded. Okay, so you can see that the Drupal 7.10 version has been downloaded to my webroot directory and uh, let me go to my webroot. Here you can see is uh, a new folder has been created and I'll go down inside this folder. And uh, this is it. Uh, now all the files that we need to run a Drupal website has been downloaded to our web root and uh, probably you want to uh, rename this folder to uh, something more meaningful. So uh, in this case, I'll be using a real example for one of my clients. I'm uh, making a website and uh, he will be selling mobiles online. So uh, I'll name it to this mobile voila dot in and uh, this this is the actual URL of this uh, website and uh, 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 today I'm start, starting working on it so it would be good if uh, uh, along with the development I'll show you how to install Drupal first and then um, what modules we need to use for selling products online. So uh, I'll be using this uh, real project for some of my videos. So keep checking our website for more such useful videos. So uh, now uh, our Drupal is now downloaded to the web root. For creating a database, I'll be using this tool called as SQL Yog, and uh, it's a community edition free version of this uh, really nice tool that you can use for browsing your tables or making changes to your database. So uh, for, for for creating a new database, uh, you'll click on this uh, topmost directory here, uh, root at the rate localhost, and you'll say create a new database. I want to name it db underscore live underscore uh, mobile wala. Uh, you can uh, give any name, it is up to you. Okay, so for beginning the installation process, you can go to your browser and enter the folder name that you created, and this folder basically has all the files that were downloaded by Drush. So this is the first screen that you will be presented with. Here you need to select the installation profile and uh, by default it comes with two installation profiles. The first one is the standard one, the second one is the minimum. So uh, I probably want to install the first one because I want most of the commonly used 
modules pre-configured and installed uh, when I begin the development of my website. So I'll select standard. It is already selected, so I'll say save and continue. In the next step, uh, I want to select English as the language, which is in this case the only option available to me and save and continue. So this is the important part of your Drupal installation procedure. Here you need to specify the database name that Drupal website will be using for storing the data and uh, all the tables will be created in this database. The first one is for the MySQL and Maria or some other equivalent database. Second one is for SQLite. Since we are using MySQL for our uh, installation, so I'll, I'll leave it as it is. And here I, I will specify the database name. And uh, you need to enter your database username. And uh, if you see the advanced options, here you can specify the host name of your database connection. And in most cases, it is localhost. You can also specify the database port if your database, MySQL database, is using some other port. And there is also a possibility to prefix all of your tables with some different name and this is used when you are using single database for storing your tables of two websites but we will not do it in this video we will leave it as it is so uh, I am not entering any password because my MySQL server is not really using any password the password is blank but uh, in your case you should check your username and password very carefully and it should be correct otherwise the installation will not proceed further so i'll say save and continue okay so now you can see the installation is in progress and it will take some time probably few minutes so i'll forward it to the point where it is done Okay, so now you can see this uh, installation is about to be completed and it is currently installing some modules. Almost done. Okay, 100% complete. Uh, it is doing some final changes here. Okay, so now we are done. So the first thing that you need to do is configure your website. And uh, uh, first of all, you need to enter your site name. In this case, I'll say mobile. Voila. And you need to enter your site email address. So right now I, I will enter my gmail id but you need to change it it should be ideally on your own domain i'll enter some uh, username that i will be using for configuring this website i'll enter the administrator password here you need to uh, specify your country so i'll say india here your time zone is automatically selected and if you want, you can leave these two checkboxes as it is if you want your uh, Drupal website to update you about the new updates that are available for your contributed modules or your core. So I'll save it. Okay, so our website is now installed and ready to use. Uh, it says visit your new website. So I'll click here on this link so wow it looks good and really nice and now our website is ready and uh, now I can start with the development and uh, I'll be making 
further videos for this client mobile wala and i'll show you how to make a shopping website where you can sell your products online so do look forward for further videos of this series and i hope this video will help you to install your own drupal on your local machine thank you